How fortunate that in a world ruled and ruined by liars, scammers and murderers, there are also a few colorful rays of hope. For example, here. May I introduce you to my friends? They come from Italy, Hungary, Serbia, Japan, Mexico, Holland, Ukraine, Argentina, Costa Rica, Pakistan, Portugal, and so many more countries from this world. And all we have in common is that we love watercolor, and these people are not only great artists, they are also great leaders for their country communities and community is uh, a really special thing about all this Fabriano and Aquarello project because it's about communication between all of us without any competition just for friendship, peace, love and of course art After we all met again for the first time at the Piazza Maggiore in Bologna, we went to the Pizzeria Nicola for a great pizza party. So before the mouth is full and you can't say cheese anymore, <laughs> This was a really great time with delicious food and of course a lot of talking and having fun together. So good to see friends after one year again.
This year we had the chance to meet together two days before the festival started for leaders meeting and Anna and her team found a really great place that reminded a little bit about the situation in Papriano. It was just a pretty comfy place and I think we all had a good time together. I had the great pleasure to give the Do You Speak Watercolor Special Award for water, Watercolor Activism to Anna and to Victoria from the Ukraine. To Anna for the Fabriano and Aquarello Festival and all she does for the worldwide watercolor community. And of course to Victoria from the Ukraine because she did this Freedom Watercolor Festival during the wartime, which was such an amazing job. Just a moment. Um, today uh, we have two award winners here, and I'd like to, to get them to the stage. Victoria from the Ukraine and Anna Masinista from Italy. <laughs> because uh, last year when, when I came to Bologna, uh, I just had this thing, do you speak watercolor? It was just a few words. But since then, it has become a group, a pretty nice group on Facebook for watercolor artists, for the individual artists. And I decided, I decided to to give an award for people who are important for watercolor. So, these two ladies, they have, they have been free morning, but uh, I didn't shoot these both because they both such a great job in their country and for all of us. So, um, this is the award. I'm not good with the microphone, sorry. So it's very great. Sergey. And then we have these two ladies here. And now I prepare the presentation because the plan is going on. Uh, because watercolor is such a great thing. And I would like to introduce you to my hometown, which is an absolutely watercolor free zone. <laughs> <laughs> and the more important I think it is to bring watercolor there. And I just want you to show the place and to tell you about the project. And maybe we have a piece of paper, but uh, maybe you can just write me after this if you are interested. If you would be interested to come to Germany. After this award, I had a prepared a presentation about my own hometown, Essen, in Germany, because my big dream is to celebrate a watercolor festival there, which is not so easy because my town is an absolutely watercolor free zone. But I had the feeling that my friends are going to support me, and I'm really grateful for that. 
So beside all of these discussions and talking and games we had together, of course there was a lot of Dolce Vita with great Italian food, drinks and just a great time together. Thank you to all of you. It's just a few days ago and I miss you all. All the best, Carsten. Round the rick the dung, dung.